that like even even a tiny implant can mm. can convince uh, a much larger body to do certain things. So there's something. It's not just about the the amount of tissue. There's there's something mm. very interesting going on. Right? So some of these some of these messages are compelling yeah. to the yeah. to the decision making. That's what I was wondering about earlier. I was reading again about your, um, you know, the tadpoles where you do, um, you basically put an eye on the tail. And so I was quite curious about, you know, what is that threshold, right? So, of, of, you know, it does it have to go past a certain point where those local cells say, oh, okay, that's a strong enough message now. Now we're going to be an eye. Um, yeah. You know, what, what, and what is that threshold? As you say, it can go from many to one or sometimes one to many. And it's so, yeah, that, that's, that's a... A metric that if you could identify what that is and bring it down to one number that'd be amazing <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know if it is one number um mm -hmm. i don't know if it's a i don't know if it's a threshold i, I suspect it's something much more uh interesting and complex than that we we, mm. we can see it so so when we inject a few cells in the flank with an ion channel that it takes them to a voltage pattern that says b and i and what we can do is just target a few cells so there's not enough of them to actually make an eye they immediately try to recruit others because right. like, like, like any good collective intelligence, like ants or termites, they will scale the, the collective to the task at hand. So they say to their neighbors, B and I, and then we can catch some of those neighbors sort of entertaining that idea and turning on early eye genes. But the rest of the cells, they, they have a cancer suppression mechanism, which says that if my neighbor has a weird voltage, I got to try to normalize them out. Mm -hmm. but, you know, yeah. that's, that's, yeah. Not, that's not good. He's doing something weird. And so mm -hmm. the other cells are at the same time saying, no, you should be gut or skin or whatever. And yeah. so there's this little battle that goes back and forth. And sometimes you can see it. Sometimes they turn on the early eye genes. And then at the end, they decide, yeah, you know what? Nah, we're, this is, mm -hmm. we're not doing this. And they turn those off and they stay, and they stay skin. So, so you, can, you can actually see, we, we can actually see it with, with, when we use the fluorescent markers. You can actually see many regions sort of entertain the idea of converting to an eye and some of them say some of them leave some of them say okay we're going to be an eye and they become an eye. Mm. so so working out exactly what are the components of that decision because because i th i think it's like with any instance of communication it's going to be a mix it's going to be something about the message what was sent and something about the priors in other words, mm -hmm. how how plastic am I to change fate? Do I really believe that I can be an I? Uh, mm -hmm. How much how many how much resources am I willing to spend on turning the the, the turning everything around and 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 changing you know transcription and metabolism and, and becoming a different organ? Mm -hmm. I suspect there's a lot of decision making going on there that that needs to be unraveled.